States, Mr. Donald J. Trump and the Trump family. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So beautiful. So beautiful. We are going to make America great again. So I want to thank everybody, but I really have to begin by paying homage to my parents, Mary and Fred. They're up there, they're looking down, they're saying, this is something very special. They love this country and they're very, very happy right now. So thank you to my parents. I want to thank my sister, Judge Barry, Mary Ann, a really great sister, another great sister, Elizabeth. My fantastic brother, Robert, who's watching right now with Anne-Marie. And I want to thank my brother, my late brother, Fred. What a fantastic guy. I learned so much from Fred. Taught me more than just about any of you. Just probably about even with my father. A fantastic guy. So I want to thank Fred. He's up there and he's looking down also. And we can go right down the line, but we have to start with Melania, what she puts up with. Oh. She, uh, she said right from the beginning, you know if you run, you know you're going to win. And she said that from day one. So, Melania, thank you, honey. Thank you. And Don and Vanessa, thank you so much. And Ivanka, she was out. She made seven stops today at the polling areas. So, very, very special. And Jared, Jared is a very, very successful real estate entrepreneur in Manhattan, but he likes this better than real estate, I think. So, Jared, thank you. And Lara and Eric, and they were all out today, and it was amazing. And Corey, where is Corey? Does Corey have a ground game or what? Boy, do we have a ground game? Where's Corey? Corey, Corey Lewandowski. <laughs> you know, we learned a lot about ground games in one week, I have to tell you that. And the entire staff and Hope Hicks. This is Hope, this is Hope, this is Hope. Nobody. Nobody takes more phone calls, I think, in a day than Hope. So thank you, Hope and Corey and the, the, entire, the entire group, the entire staff. Incredible job. Get over here. Come here. What a job you did. Uh, the man. So... Again, we have to thank the candidates because they really ran. We have some very talented people. And to be victorious against some of these people, even if it's for one week, but believe me, it's going to be for many weeks, okay? But they really are. They're terrific. Uh, a number of them called, and I just wanted to thank them. But I wanted to congratulate the other candidates, okay? Now that I got that over with... You know, it's always tough, and then tomorrow, boom, boom. But that's the way it is, and, and really, you have some real talent. We have some real talent in the Republican Party, and the RNC and Reince, we want to thank everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, we, yeah, right, right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what.
What do we really want to thank, right? We want to thank the people of New Hampshire, right? Do we love the people of New Hampshire? You know, I said it, and I said it even a year ago. I said, I think I'm going to do really well there because I'm here a lot, and it's so beautiful, and I love it so much, and I love the people, and I said, I actually think they like me a lot, and then all of a sudden, we started getting numbers in, and everyone said, how come they like Trump so much? But I have so many friends up here, and they are special, special people. So, New Hampshire, I want to thank you. We love you. We're going to be back a lot. We're not going to forget you. You started it. Remember, you started it. Get started. You know, when I came out, I heard the end of Bernie's speech, and I heard some of the beginning. No, no. I first of all, congratulations to Bernie. In all fairness, we have to congratulate him. We may not like it, but I heard parts of Bernie's speech. He wants to give away our country, folks. He wants to give away. We're not going to let it happen. We're not going to let it happen. I don't know where it's going with Bernie. We wish him a lot of luck, but we are going to make America great again, but we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to beat China, Japan. We're going to beat Mexico at trade. We're going to beat all of these countries that are taking so much of our money away from us on a daily basis. It's not going to happen anymore. We have the greatest business people right now in the world. They call me all the time. They want to be involved. We have political hacks negotiating our deals for billions and billions and billions of dollars. Not going to happen anymore. We're going to use the finest business people in the world. We are going to do something so good and so fast and so strong, and the world is going to respect us again. Believe me. We're going to... Do we love our country? Do we love our country? I think one of the things that really caught on is very important, self-funding my campaign. Everybody on both sides. And you know, I was saying two weeks ago, I said, I don't think people really appreciate it because I see all of this money being poured into commercials and it's not their money, it's special interest money. And this is on both sides. This is on the Republican side, the Democrat side money just pouring into commercials. These are special interests, folks. These are lobbyists. These are people that don't necessarily love our country. They don't have the best interests of our country at heart. We're not going to let it happen. We can't. We have to do something about it. When you see, when you see the kind of deals made in our country, a lot of those deals are made because the politicians aren't so stupid. They're making them for their benefit. We have to stop it. We have to stop it. We are now going to make it for your benefit. We're going to make the deals for the American people. That's the way it is. Now, very, oh, I love this. Look at you. Look at you. I love these signs. They're the most imaginative signs. So look, in a nutshell, we're going to make great trade deals. We're going to rebuild our military. It's going to be so big, so strong, so powerful. Nobody, nobody is going to mess with us. Believe me, nobody, nobody. We are going to take care of our vets. Where is Al? Where is Al? We love Al. All right, Al? Get up here if you can. We're going to take care of our vets. Our vets are treated horribly. They're our greatest people. Our vets are going to be taken care of, and you remember that, everybody. Right? We're going to have strong, incredible borders, and people are going to come into our country, but they're going to come into our country legally. They're going to come in legally. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be built. It's not even, believe it or not, it's not even a difficult thing to do. And by the way, 
For the people of New Hampshire, where you have a tremendous problem with heroin and drugs, you wouldn't even believe it. You see this place and you say it's so beautiful. You have a tremendous problem. The first thing always that they mention to me, Mr. Trump, please do something. The drugs, the heroin, it's pouring in and it's so cheap because there's so much of it. And the kids are getting stuck and other people are getting stuck. We're going to end it. We're going to end it. We're going to end it at the southern border. It's going to be over. And we're going to work and we're going to work really hard to get those people that are so addicted off the habit. We're going to work like.